There are lots of great Linux distros out there, but maybe you want to try your hand at creating your own custom Linux distro. For that, you'll need the right tools. So we've gathered eight great tools that will help you create your own distros and or Linux desktop environments. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is seven tools to create your own Linux distro. When there are so many Linux distros out there, you're probably wondering why one would want to create his or her own distro instead of getting a ready-made one. While in most cases a ready-made distro is fine, if you want to have a distro that is 100% tailored to your needs, or your mum or dad's needs, you might have to create it on your own. With the right tools, creating your own Linux distro isn't as hard as it seems, though it takes time for sure. There are lots of tools for that purpose, some of them are universal and some of them are distro specific. Linux Respin Linux Respin is a fork of the now discontinued RemasterSys. Years ago, RemasterSys used to be one of the most popular tools to create your own Linux distro and or a backup of your OS. Linux Respin doesn't offer as much as RemasterSys used to, but it still does a great job if you're using a distro it's available for. Linux Respin is available for Debian, Mint and Twiskel only, which kind of limits its popularity. What I don't like about this tool is its almost non-existent documentation. Linux Live Kit Linux Live Kit is another tool you can use to create your own distro or back up your system. It prefers Debian but fortunately it can be run on other distros as well, provided it supports AUFs and SquashFS kernel modules. Linux Live Kit has a very short and sweet wizard on how to build a distro. Just follow the steps and you're done. Ubuntu Imager Ubuntu Imager is a good tool to create your own Ubuntu based distro. It's not the only such app for Ubuntu, but since it's a good one I choose to mention it on this list. I'm not going to review it in detail because we already have a very detailed how-to with instructions about installation and operation, so if you want to run it just check the article in the link in the description. Linux from scratch if you want to have absolute control on what is included in your distro and you have lots of free time, you can have a look at the Linux from Scratch project. LFS has a very extensive documentation and is a great learning resource about Linux in general, not just about how to create your own distro. Linux from Scratch allows you to build your own customised Linux system entirely from source code. LFS is not exactly a tool like the rest on this list, but you can still use it for the same purpose, to create your own Linux distro and learn a lot about Linux as a whole. Slacks Modules Tool If you're looking for an easy to use tool and you like Slacks, a lightweight distro based on Slackware, you are lucky because they have an online tool you can use to pick the modules you'd like to be included in your distro. I've used this tool in the past numerous times when I wanted to create a lightweight live system for friends of mine and it works like a charm. Browse through the categories of software and pick the apps you want. Add them to the build. Don't worry if you miss a thing or two as you can always add more apps after you build and run it. Live Magic Live Magic is one more Debian tool for distro creation. It can create CDs, USBs and netboot images. It's much simpler to use than some of the other apps on this list, such as RemasterSys, but it does not use your running system to build the image. Instead, follow a wizard and choose your configuration options as you go. The program will pull the packages from your repositories and install them into your image. SUSE Studio for SUSE users, the best choice is SUSE Studio. Somewhat similar to InstaLinux, SUSE Studio allows you to use a web interface to create a custom distribution or appliance, as they call it. It tops the charts in supported media by including output for CD, DVD, USB stick, hard drive, VMware, VirtualBox, and Zen. In order to use it, you need to open an account. This is simple because it uses single sign-on and you can quickly get in with your Google, Facebook, etc. account. You can choose which version of SUSE to use the basis, if you want the server version or not, and which desktop to include in the build. Conclusion I hope these tools for creating your own Linux distro are of help to you. Their level of complexity and power varies, but we try to include both easy to use apps and apps to give you more power. In addition to these apps, many of the distros have their own tools that were mentioned here, so if you are using a different distro, it's best to check what tools are available for it in particular. And then if you're not happy with what you find, try the universal ones.
Okay, if you like this video, then please click the like button and leave a comment. And also perhaps visit our Make Tech Easier YouTube channel for more guides, tutorials and lists about all things tech. We cover Windows, Linux, Mac, iOS, Android and lots of other stuff in between. So we'll almost definitely have something for you. Plus, if you feel like it, hit the subscribe button to never miss our latest videos. And also you can hit the notification bell to be alerted immediately when new videos hit the channel. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's it for now. See you next time.